Somebody send me a message. So I, want to, I want to give a word in the next few minutes. And I want to give you the background of this message in the next few minutes. Last year, when, I, when my late wife passed to glory, somebody sent me a message. And the message is, the person said, Ah, I, I pity you that your wife is gone. But how are you going to move on with life? I'm just wondering whether you'll be able to move on again with life. So I started thinking about that. I started thinking about it. I won't be able to move on with life. I consider the, 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 the message from that person in two forms. That probably the person was thinking about my closeness with my late wife. That Okay, you are right because 24 years of wonderful experience in marriage. It's beautiful. But I look at the other side of the statement. I said to myself, the person was wrong in one way. He was wrong because she didn't consider God. She didn't consider God. Because what determines the future of a man is how rooted he is in the Lord. It is not how much cash you have. It is not how many children you have. It is not the husband, the wife you have married. It is not about how influential you have. It's your root. How rooted are you in the Lord? And when the wind blows, how deep your root in the law will be tested. So we saw some people, when the wind blows, they were blown away. Somebody was telling me of a particular pastor. He was a pastor, and he closed down the church. I said, why? He said, he couldn't continue anymore. That's, that's a negative testimony. Nobody wants to hear that. But when the root is solid in the law, you can always move on with life. Since you have put your trust in God, not in man. And I know somebody. <laughs> it was on Sunday morning. The wife died. And uh, he did everything to wake her up. The life story. He couldn't succeed. And he put the woman on the bed. He went to the church for the service. He was to preach. He preached a fantastic message. After the service, he told all the men, sir, they are going to follow me home. He said, for what, sir? Don't follow me home. And they got on there. Actually, my wife passed on this morning. He's on the bed. Can we organize the funeral? They were all shaking. You have never seen someone before. It's the root. How deep you are in the law that determines it. So this morning, I want to share with you briefly is a message that God gave me to tell somebody that you shall rise again. Amen. It doesn't matter how strong the wind is blowing against you. You will rise again. Amen. What is going to make you to rise again is not because you have money. It's not because you are highly educated. It's not because you have so many good friends around. It's because the grace of God will make it to rise again. You will rise again, brethren. Let us examine some examples of such situations that God wants you to rise again. In the next couple of minutes. Number one, to somebody, you shall rise again to live. I don't know what the enemy has killed in your life. I've come to let you know you will rise again. The blessing that enemy thought he has killed, the blessing are coming back alive again. In a new dimension, you will rise again. In the book of Matthew 27, in verse 63, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days, I will rise again. <laughs> Jesus told the disciple. And everybody knew about it. He told them that he was going to die, but he will rise again. So when he died, the enemy of God's prayer, they were all laughing. They called him a deceiver. They said, that deceiver is beautiful. It's, it's terrible. They are calling him a creator, a deceiver. Sometimes I laugh. And some people are saying, they are saying bad things about me. That's what they think about you. Have they called you a deceiver? <laughs> Have they called you a demon possessed? That's what they think they call Jesus. So they said, he said he will rise again. They thought he was joking. But eventually, he rose again. I don't know thing that used to live in your life that the enemy think he has killed. I have a good news for you. The dead blessings are coming back alive again. Those blessings will come alive again. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10, 2 Corinthians 1, 10, the Bible says, Who deliver us from so great a death and not deliver? In whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. Paul say we have got victory over death. Whatever enemy has killed in our life will come alive again. Dead blessing will rise again. Dead marriage will rise again. Dead destiny will rise again. Career element of your skill is going to come alive again. 
In the name that's above every other name, as you are passing through the month of June, your death blessing shall come alive again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number two, you shall rise again to walk. If enemy thought he has crippled you, you will never walk again. He said, Yo, you will walk again. <laughs> you are going to walk again in destiny. You will advance again. Ah, because it is not about you, it's about the creator. Who can hinder him? In the book of John chapter 5, verse 5, John chapter 5, verse 5, a man, a certain man was there, which had an infirmity, 30 and 8 years. This man was not born crippled, but life made him crippled. But one day, in John chapter 5, in verse 8 to 9, the creator came, and the creator located him, and this man walked again. I don't know where life has crippled you, but I've come to let you know, you will walk again. In the book of Luke chapter 4, Luke chapter 5, like Luke chapter 5, from verse 4 to 8, Luke 5, 4 to 8, this man called Peter he used to catch big fish. Things used to work for him, but suddenly nothing worked for him on that day. The net that he used to catch beautiful fishes couldn't work for him. Even the sea couldn't yield the, the, the fish for him. But the creator came to the sea. And this man, what used to work for him, they are no longer work, started working again. The same net caught fish again. The same sea yielded increase to him again. This man, things work for him again. Beloved, I have got a good news for you as a pastor through this month. Things that used to work for you that the enemy has crippled. In the month of June, they shall work again for you. In the name of Jesus, the idea God has given to you that used to benefit you that's no longer working, the idea will benefit you again. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall work again. In the name of Jesus. Number three. You shall, you shall rise again in blessing. Sometimes, enemy thought he has killed your blessing. He forgot that there is a God in heaven that will never go bankrupt. <laughs> he has blessing in abundance. Job chapter 1, verse 10 to 12. Job 1, 10 to 12. This man was so blessed. Job, an enemy came before God to accuse him of the sin never committed. To rob him, to accuse him. And eventually, all the blessing God has given to Job will disappear. But one day, this man, he walk again in blessing. In Job 42, verse 12, Job 42, verse 12, Bible says, the Lord bled the later end of Job, more than his beginning. All the blessing he has lost, they will recover, and more than before. Beloved, you will not only rise again, you will rise again quickly. You will rise again beautifully. You will rise again blamelessly. You will rise again powerfully. You will rise again gloriously. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Job chapter 14, verse 7, for there is hope of a tree. That's Job 14, 7. If you be cut down, it is trust again. Why? Because the tree is rooted in the Lord. <laughs> Beloved, I want to encourage you. Be rooted in the Lord. Ah, be rooted in the Lord. That's the only thing you need to survive. The only thing that guarantees your future is how deep you are in the law. Husband walk away. You want to commit suicide. Be rooted in the law, Joe. And wife walk away. You want to commit. Be rooted in the law. And those who have given you job, they sack you with that notice. Be rooted in the law. As long as you are rooted in the law, you will rise again. So somebody, this morning, I decree concerning you, you shall rise again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Number four, you shall rise again in destiny. Sometimes, enemy thought he has destroyed your destiny that you can never shine again. It's a joke. That is a God in heaven. You will rise again. And God is alive. <laughs> the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God chose Israel as his own special people. But suddenly, in the book of Psalm 83, in verse 4, the Bible says, They have said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Enemies say, We shall cut them off. We shall destroy them. They will not fulfill destiny anymore. It's a joke. In Isaiah 37, in verse 31 to 32, And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward <laughs> and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go for a remnant. They that escape out of Mount Zion, the seed of the Lord of us shall do this. God said, I have declared my people as mine. You can't cut them all. 
Even they are ready now. We grew up again. Beloved, I don't know the area of life, the element of your, your destiny. And you are crying. Don't cry. I have a good news for you. You will rise again in destiny. That purpose God asked for you shall be fulfilled. Ah, when the enemy came together to destroy the destiny of Joseph, they failed. It was God who made them to fail. That same God is still on his throne. Beloved, let me remind you this. God we are serving here is the same God of Abraham. The same God of Isaac. The same God of Jacob. He is the same God David served. It's not a different God. <laughs> he is the same God Jeremiah served. They put him inside the pit. He came alive. He is the same God Abraham served. He is the same God all the great men you have read in the Bible served. We are serving the same God. It's not a different God. It is the same God. It is the same God that made the enemy to fail over Joseph. It is the same God we are serving here. So that same God, and Bible talk about him, that that God is the same yesterday, he is the same today, and forevermore. So all you have read about him in the Bible, he's still doing it today. If you can force the cancer of the enemy against his people in the Bible, he will do in your life also. I decree concerning you, you will rise again in destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, the purpose why God created you, that the enemy wants to destroy, today the power begins to shine. In the name of Jesus, you will rise again. The last one, number five. You shall rise again in power. <laughs> Sometimes, enemy thing has destroyed your power. Ah, finishing, no more anointing. Who told him? Anointing is coming back in a new dimension. You will rise again in power. In the book of Judges, chapter 16, verse 22, after they have shaved the hair of, 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 of something, the Bible says, his hair grew again. To somebody, your hair will grow again. Your power will rise again. Your strength will increase again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 30 to 36, Nebuchadnezzar was cut off. He was removed from power, but God showed mercy. He reigned again. You also shall reign again. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of God will sustain you. You shall reign again in power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I've seen, I've seen people that used to be in an important position. And challenges of life demoted them. It's not interesting. But I have seen also in my own days, those that, that have been demoted, how they have been brought back to position of honor. And the glory of the little house was far, far beautiful than the former house. Beloved, if you cannot lose hope, if you can click onto Jesus, I have a good name for you. You will rise again. In destiny, you will rise again. In power, you will rise again. You will walk again. You will reign again. You will have more to talk again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall rise again. I want to give you five tips to take home. What to do so that you will not permit, you will prefer, you are going to allow the power and the grace of God to make you to rise again. I have a conviction in my spirit that somebody shall explain restoration. Yes, I have a conviction in my spirit. In fact, in our midst here, somebody is here, he used to do well academically. But you have been asking yourself a question what has gone wrong? I have a good news for you. You will do well again. You shall do well again. What do you do so that you will permit the power of God to make you to rise again? Number one, don't be carried away by the enemy's short triumph. Don't be carried away by the enemy's short triumph. <laughs> the book of Job 20 verse 5, the book of Job 20 verse 5 says, The triumphant of the wicked is short. The joy of the hypocrite is for a moment. You see, when Jesus was in the grave, after he declared before he died, that I'm going to rise again. The first day he didn't rise. So enemy was rejoicing. <laughs> Why will he rise? I finished him. Second day, he didn't rise. I know. We have finished this guy. They didn't know that the appointed time has not come. When the appointed time came, Jesus rose again and the soldier they have appointed to ensure that in case he resurrects, kill him again. No people are very wicked. You kill somebody. You are still going to the grave in case he resurrected. Let's kill him again. Ah, uh -uh. Leave him alone. But when Jesus was to resurrect, they were nowhere to be found. So, beloved, do not be carried away by the enemy's short triumph. When it appears as if enemy is winning, it's for a short time. You will rise again. Amen. Number two that you must do is don't be carried away by the enemy boasting and intimidation. Enemy love to boast you. When it's not your time to rise. Yeah, this one, it's over. You know, we finish him. Matthew 27, in verse 63. Saying, sir, we remember that the deceiver said, they were calling Jesus a deceiver. They were insulting him. They were ridiculing him. Where is he now? All this boasting. All this are my savior. And God, my son of God. Where is your father now? It's over for him. 
He sova. Ah, that man didn't have visa move. He sova. Don't be carried away by their boasting and their intimidation. Because at an appointed time, when it's time for you to rise again, Bible says you will see for your enemy. You won't see them again. Why? God has taken them away. <laughs> you will rise again in the name of Jesus. Number three, rejoice in the Lord always. Beloved, I have a good news for your marriage this year. Good days are coming again. If you are here, you used to enjoy your wife, enjoy your husband, but because of challenges of life, things are no longer like that. I have a good name for you. The Lord will bring back good old days that come back. You will enjoy life together again. Ah, Rejoice in the Lord always. In the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Yet again, I say, Rejoice. Beloved, rejoice. Anyone want you to sorrow? Don't sorrow. Anyone want to keep on crying? Don't cry. No matter what happened, even when you cry, cry a little and guide yourself together. Jesus came to the house of Lazarus. He cried, but he didn't cry for a long time. Don't let the enemy rejoice. Rejoice always. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. When the devil is saying, hey, we finished him. You, you have not finished me. I'm going to rise again. Keep on rejoicing. Today, someone is receiving me. I'm not going to rejoice. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of sorrow thrown at you is backfire. In the name of Jesus. You will rejoice. Number four, give yourself to prayer. Pray and pray. Don't give yourself to mockery. Don't give yourself to evil thought and imagination. Give yourself to prayer. Spend time in prayer. Philippians 4, 6. It says, be careful for nothing. In heaven, just pray, 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 pray. In this church, we are creating more avenue for prayer. Just pray, just pray, just pray. Jesus Christ said, my house is a house of prayer. Pray, 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 pray. More prayer are coming to this church. Just give yourself to prayer. Prayer is beautiful, brethren. In future, I will share with you a lot of mysterious things I have experienced through the power of prayer. Prayer is beautiful. You will not only rise, brethren. You will rise quickly in the name of Jesus. You won't stay there for years. You will rise quickly. Ah, you will rise quickly in the name of Jesus. Last one, number five. Continually confessing the word of it. Don't confess the word of the enemy. When they will say, oh, I pity you, don't say, yeah, actually, don't pity yourself. Oh. You are not unfortunate. You are not fatherless. You are not hopeless. You have the Almighty as your father. What else do you want? Ah. Continually confessing the word of faith. Philippians 4 13, Paul said, I can do all things. You also keep on confessing to yourself that I can rise again and I will rise again. Keep on telling yourself, I shall reign again and I will reign again. Tell yourself, I shall win again. I can win again and I shall win again. Keep on telling yourself, all oh, shall be well with me again and it shall be well. Paul said, I can do all things. This morning, someone is receiving the grace. The grace to rise up. <laughs> the grace to advance in destiny. Where the enemy dump you, when the enemy come back, he won't meet you there. Today you are moving forward. Moving forward in glory, in power, in good testimony, in strength. You will not be defeated. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are waiting to bury you, you are the one that will bury them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your marriage will live. Your destiny will live. Your ministry will live. Your business will live. You will rise again. You will move again. You will enjoy life again. You will be strong again. In the mighty name of Jesus, your home shall be rejoicing again. In the mighty name of good old days are coming back. Be on your feet. Let's pray. Be on your feet. Man, your feet. Devil is a bloody liar. I'm going to pray. Say, Father, I receive the grace. The grace to walk again. To rise again. Begin to receive it. Receive the grace. Receive it. Begin to receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Kariba. I receive the grace. The grace to walk again. The grace to rise again. The grace to reign again. To advance again. I receive the grace. I receive it. I receive it. Begin to receive the grace. Receive it. Receive it. Begin to receive it. Receive that grace. The grace to shine in destiny. I receive that grace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, you say, Father, turn things around for me. Silence my mockers. Turn things around for me. I want to rise again. Silence my mockers. Those who think I'm going to die in my predicament, disappoint them. Turn things around for me. Silence my mockers. Kariba, Father, turn things around for me. Silence my mockers. Those who thought I would never rise again, disappoint them. Let me rise quickly. Let me rise gloriously. Let me rise fastly. I'm going to rise again. Powerfully, I will rise again. Kerimo, Shinka, turn things around in my life, Lord. Silence all my mocker. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, yes. 
Thank you, Father. Our thing for this one is the spirit of is the spirit of the wisdom of God. I want to pray for wisdom, wisdom of God. That you are passing through this month, you are going to walk with the wisdom of God. Ask for wisdom of God. That in the month of June, you will do all things with the wisdom of God. That is the wisdom we need. Wisdom of God. <laughs> you will navigate through all the bends, all the corners this month with the wisdom. You will not crash. You will not fall. You will not break down. Because you have the wisdom of God. You will have no regret this month. Because the wisdom of God shall direct your thoughts, direct your action. Ask for the wisdom of God. I receive the wisdom of God to operate my life. My home received today wisdom of God to operate our life in the mighty name of God. We are walking in the wisdom of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want to give you the opportunity to speak to the month of June that you are going to the month. You all shall be well with you. Take authority over the every day of the take authority that every day of the month of June shall bring you blessing. It shall be joy, blessing, promotion, good news. That shall be your portion. No sorrow, no weeping, mm -mm -mm, no regret, no, 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 no self pity, mm -mm, no anxiety, no worry. It shall be joy, 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 joy. We have the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost in us. We are more than conqueror. Every day of the month of June, hear my voice. Bring me joy, good news, blessing. Favor, promotion, advancement, new idea, another idea, direction. Bring unto me and my home in the name of Jesus. Kaiba, hear my shenke lebo. Every day of the month of June, hear my voice. Do me well. Hear my shenke lebo. Kaiba, ribo. Every blessing in you, the month of June, yield it to my home in the name of Jesus. Every you you the month of June, take it far away from my home in the mighty name of Jesus. Re karike. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let me pray for you. As you go this month, the goodness and mercy of God shall join with you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. every day of this month shall bring you unusual favor. Favor in the day, favor in the night, favor when you go out, favor when you come in, favor round about. Everything you touch shall be prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord will advertise his presence in your life this month. Whatever you go, the Lord will join with you. God present will join with you. You will never be alone. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will prove the world wrong concerning you. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will be an end to your enemies. Shall be advert to an adversary. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to rise against this one. The Lord will rise against them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every evil expectation concerning you shall come to nothing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your going out this one shall be peaceful. Your coming shall be peaceful. All shall be well with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in your household, the Lord will advertise favor and blessing in the name of Jesus. In the month of June, is the month of blessing for you. So it shall be in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. I appreciate God, I appreciate God, I appreciate God. I appreciate God. Thank you, Father. We give all the glory, give all the honor. Thank you, thank you. Blessed be your own. So our Father, our God, we are come to say thank you. Thank you for how far you have led us today into this service. Thank you for the blessing. Thank for sending us your war. Thank for reminding us that we are more than conqueror. We are grateful, Lord, that we are not fatherless. We are not hopeless. We have the Lord Almighty, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob. He's our God. Thank you, Lord, for all you have been doing for us. Thank you for making us to walk in your strength. Be that exalted, be that glorified in the name of Jesus. As you go in this month, Lord, while I join with us, keep your hands upon us. Throughout the month of June, every one of us shall, we shall walk in your strength. We shall not walk in our own strength in the name of Jesus. And Father, in this month, we shall be invisible to the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Let all be well with us. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's share the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forever. Amen. Surely, now we shall follow the love of our life. I do in the heart of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Tell somebody, I shall rise again. <laughs>